Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is 1117 here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, today I have to take an abuse awareness, sexual abuse awareness training for uh, the camp I'm going to. Everybody has to take it. They sent an email out a while ago. And uh, one of the, I guess, assistant directors sent me an email and uh, mentioned that I had to take it, so or that I forgot to take it anyways. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that knocked out here this morning. Uh, already uploaded the video for today. Uh, vlog 119. Woo, getting up there in numbers. It's kind of crazy. Um, and then uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. I'm on section 5 of 10. And this course is not my favorite uh there aren't a lot of pop-up information things it's kind of just there there are a couple but he's kind of just talking and i'm kind of just zoning out uh i don't i also don't know what information i'm supposed to be looking for and remembering i know i'm supposed to re remember all of it so i can watch out for all this stuff at camp and all that but like there's a test afterwards and i don't know what the test is going to be on there have been statistics, there have been definitions, there have been just general things to look for. I don't know how long this test is going to be. I wish I could, like, they would give you a little description of the test of some of the things that are going to be in it. So I could look at those things because right now I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. And I, I that's a little irritating. I had to take a, well, last year I had to take a lifeguard uh not a test, but it was, it was the same thing. It was a, it was a course. And with that, you kind of know what you're looking for. And like with other tests, like say you're taking a math test, you know, it's going to be on math, English, you know, it's going to be on grammar, punctuation, all that stuff. But with this, it's not very clear of what I'm supposed to be looking for. I think they could have done this a lot better, but, uh, we'll continue to go through it. And, um, uh, if I have any more things I want to say about it, I'll let you know. Okay, so I found the answer to my own problem. Uh, I went to the 10th section, the conclusion conclusion section, and uh, they told me it was a 25-question quiz and that you had to get 70% to pass. Now, <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> this this is kind of important. So why would I not have to get 100? Just, just odd things that, that I think about, but... Um, I'm going to try to get as close to 100 as possible. If I can retake it and get 100, I'm going to do that so I know everything to look for. Uh, and another one was, uh, so there's like adult on kids and then peers on peers. So kids on kids. So that, that is something that I hadn't thought of. I always thought of it as the adult to kid thing. So I am learning stuff, but just just very odd things to learn about and again this guy is just talking <laughs> no no graphics no nothing no no like here they do have like the definition and they have a pie chart come up sometimes but then i i watched this guy for 12 minutes and he was literally just talking I, dude you know how hard it is to pay attention to something like that it is that's so boring but uh you know, I got to get through it, got to pay attention as best I can. So let's get back to it. I'm on section six and it is 1210. Finished all 10 modules, on to the test. Okay, I am on question 16 of 25. It's been about four minutes and all the questions are either true or false or they have five choices and the answer is always all of the above, which that is not that's, that's a terrible test, in my opinion. That doesn't... I, I could have not watched any of the videos and just clicked all of the above, and I would be right so far. That's terrible. And here's a question that makes just no sense in the context of what I am taking. So, we are on sexual abuse prevention. This question is, staff members and volunteers should never provide alcohol or tobacco, tobacco products to children. That has nothing to do. That's just a common, like, what? That That's just a 
general. It's not even in the context of what we're learning. Like, wow. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I just finished the test and I did get one wrong and I thought I'd be able to go back and see the question, but it was, if there is physical touch, it is more appropriate when around, I think like open observers. And I went for the false because I was going under the impression of physical touch is just simply, you don't want to do that. So that's where I got that wrong, but the answer was true. But I uh, got a 96 here. I'll just, you know, proof in the pudding, 96, sweet. And uh, it does not look like I can retake it, which is a bummer. So uh, still got a 96, not too shabby about that. And uh, I think the email has already been sent to, to my, ugh, I can't get that on there, to my camp. So we're all good there. And uh, on with the day, <laughs> something a little more cheery, I hope. It is about 1.38 now and I've heated up my biscuit and I know y'all can't quite see that, but it's solo. We are not done watching Star Wars yet. And uh, let's see, I still got uh, Rogue One to go and then all three of the original movies. So, oh man, let's get watching it. Let's get eating. Finished up with Solo and the next movie is Rogue One. So that'll be exciting. I'll probably watch that tomorrow. Uh, one movie for today is good. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and show y'all that I have uh, gotten an email back from uh, the YouTube Partnership Program. And yesterday is when I got the email to apply. So it's been, it was less than one day because I applied at, I want to say like 11 at night. And uh, I, I got the email this morning. So, I mean, it was like seven hours or something like that. So that was amazing. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and show y'all like behind you of, uh, the new things that I have. So here's a little behind the scenes of the analytics page of my channel. And uh, as you can see, this is the video that went up today. It's, uh, over there. It's about six o'clock. So, uh, these are all the statistics. Pretty cool. And uh, here are the subscribers. And then this is new. Uh, it says, welcome to YouTube Partnership Program. Congratulations, you have been accepted into the YouTube Partnership Program. You can now monetize your channel and contact support, which is pretty cool. Um, some other things are if we go down here to earn, uh, it used to just be overview, but now for we can go to membership. And this is if... I had extra things to, like if I put up the video early, the people who would subscribe to that would be able to see it at, say I posted at seven o'clock for all the members and then it came out for everybody else at 12. And then for supers, uh, this one you can, so if you go live, you can, the, the viewers can buy stickers, special stickers. And it's basically donations. And uh, I think the first one, like the first level of earn is basically what I watch from a YouTube channel is fan funded, basically. So all the donations and stuff like that funded by the fans. And then the next level is where you get that AdSense. Where, and uh, I think you can get money from the premium uh, from YouTube. So therefore it is... Uh, part like YouTube sponsored and fan sponsored kind of thing. So that's the difference between the two. And uh, there are more in-depth videos if y'all want to check them out. Uh, I, I had to look one up myself just because I didn't know <laughs> what the difference was. Uh, I just knew it that YouTube didn't, it wasn't AdSense. So uh, that's very exciting. And now I think I'm going to respond to a bunch of comments. Okie dokie, just got through about half the comments and um, going out to dinner with grandma and grandpa. Uh, I'll come back and respond to those. Don't you guys worry. Um, and also thank you guys for, resp uh, not responding, but uh, commenting. <laughs> I always love reading them. So I gotta get dressed right now and I don't even know where we're gonna go. Let's head out. Sometimes I say things backwards. Uh, no, we're not gonna go yet. Uh, I had to get dressed. Okay, now let's go. No, don't ask him. Huh? He's only got one answer.
<laughs> and what answer is that? <laughs> this one is always crowded this time of day. Uh, Chick fil A? Yeah. Is that where you want to go? <laughs> where do you want to go, Grandma? I want to go where you go. I like your company. I want to go where you want to go. I said it first. I said a second. Two's higher than one. <laughs> So where you want to go? I don't care. You do too care. I'm with my two men. Yes, you do care. No, I don't. You don't? I'm with y'all. I'm happy to be with y'all. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's go to your favorite place, Grandma. Go to my what? Favorite place. Dinner place? Yep, it is dinner. Where is that, Grandpa? He asked you where is your favorite place. Mm. That's hard to pin that down. Monday night, two or three places we eat at are closed. Closed? Yeah. For good or? No, just Monday nights. Monday nights. Yeah, what's the temperature? It says 72 degrees out there. Just glad I got a sweater on. Well, it seems like you already know where you're going, are Grandpa. Are you cold? Yeah, where I go is cold. I don't leave. Cold? 72? Well, you get in a restaurant. <laughs> You're not in the restaurant. That's what we ate a Brugger's bagel. Today? It was, it was chilly in there today. <laughs> I don't know uh, what that means, though. Chilly to you, but is that chilly to me? I don't know. They had a coat working in there. <laughs> um, not that we want to go there tonight, Drew, but have you ever eaten at Tazas? Oh, I can't say that I have. Well, you ought to eat there one of these days with us. All right. See what, uh, see if you like it. I think you would. It's got, you can eat really, really healthy. Or you can eat the way we eat, which is good. They have chicken, chicken on a skewer. Uh huh. And it's good to me. You may not like it. You know, it's cook. It's good to me. So, where are we going tonight? I don't know. I had in mind what I had in mind was a place I can't think of the name of. Not Bojangles. <laughs> not Chick fil A. I don't like either one of them for supper. <laughs> you told us. What'd she just tell us, Drew? Really? Anywhere we wanted to go. Did well, you I know, but it just came to mind. <laughs> uh, uh, where is it? Metro. Have you ever eaten no, there? I've, Where? I would have not thought of that. Have you ever eaten there? I don't think so. Where is it? It's from? good. You like their breakfast menu there. Oh, it's breakfast? breakfast well, they have air fries. I bet I would like it then. I thought we'd go there. Sure, let's go. See if you can get something else. It's got a variety of things. If they're open on Mondays, I don't know who goes and who doesn't anymore. All right, we can go 144 miles. Gas miles is 26 points. So I got three eggs. Three eggs? I think you can get oh, refills on. Oh, oh, oh. There she is. All right, it has been a little while since uh, we ate. We, we ate at Metro and I got breakfast. Any place that has breakfast, I will always eat the breakfast. Even if they have like lunch stuff and dinner stuff, I will always get the breakfast no matter what time of day, no matter if I've had breakfast five times like uh, in a row before that, I will still have breakfast because I love breakfast. That is my most favorite meal. But uh, it was it was delicious. I got eggs, sausage patties, uh, hash browns, and toast. And uh, from the from the videos that I showed y'all before, I only ate two pieces of toast. I didn't eat them all. Uh, I was pretty full afterwards. Uh, we had the nicest waiter, and she knew her questions perfectly. She knew a lot of history, too, about the places. Uh, unfortunately, there is not a metro in Wisconsin. She said, I think it went up to New York, and then uh, it went as far over as Indiana. So... Not quite to Wisconsin, but that's okay. We have a little diner up there uh, that we go to sometimes. But uh, I'm at home right now. Uh, called my parents. Got to say hi to little Leia. Called her. <laughs> I get to see her tomorrow. Uh, 
the parents are coming home tomorrow and they're bringing Leia over here. But since my dad works for a company here in Raleigh and he lives somewhere else, they are paying for his hotel to come here. Uh, and they're, they're definitely not going to stay here if the, uh, if his company is going to give him a hotel. So that's what they're doing. It's going to be a fun little, I don't want to staycation, vacation. <laughs> they're just coming down here. I mean, they lived here for forever. So, uh, but it'll be fun and I can't wait to see little Leia. I'm super excited, but uh, I got to get back to answering the comments. I didn't quite get through them all. I got through about half of them and, uh, I think, let's see, I'm going to listen to some music while I do uh, start jamming out. And then I think that'll be it for tonight. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think there's anything else. I, I Sometimes I feel like I forget stuff. Uh, watched my Star Wars. Mentioned everything from dinner. Uh, everything's good with this. Uh, nothing with packing. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, looks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.